Hello guys, gals, and non-binary pals, and welcome to Tapest ASMR. Today I am doing a pen pal video. I received two of them in the mail. That being the first one. And this one being the second. Is the Halloween one. And I just opened it inside I got a napkin that says bow down witches be add to the bone this is really nice for uh Des de Mortos some also looks kinda day of the dead but it says happy Halloween I'm back and then came with this very pretty um pocket lever inside just a little extra scrap and that was cute that was the little rooster this bat I love it she sent me this bat it's on her uh, pocket letter too and I just think it's so cute and then Halloween this year that So this or that. Witches or vampires? I'm going to say probably witches because then you also get like the wizards and all that other fun stuff. Halloween party or scary movie? Halloween party? Definitely. Scary costume or funny costume? Um, I'd like to say funny costume, but all my costumes are terrifying, so I guess I'm scary costume. Bats or black cats? Of course, black cats. Trick or treat? I love candy, so treat. Scary movies or scary stories? I don't watch a lot of scary movies um, because I always get angry because I feel like they never do what I'm going to do. But I do love a good spooky story. No, I like a spooky story. Uh, bats or black cats? That was already said. So four and seven are actually the same. And then chocolate candy or fruit candy? I would have to definitely say... It's not where I picked that up. Uh, definitely would have to say chocolate. So I will circle this and give it back to her. And then here, right in this little pouch, is the water. That is so cute. For the second one, we have this girl on this side, and then there's an owl on the other side. And so this pocket, and inside the pocket is a little fox. And it's kind of cute because this uh, purple piece is like a paint sample that she went over in another book page and then she stamped over that so that's real pretty i think that's what all of these are yeah so they're like paint samples that she's turned into things it's really cute that one says most spectacular night of the year that is so cute and clever this just says happy haunting and then some mushrooms. I love mushrooms. They've kind of got the Alice in Wonderland vibe. I mean, all mushrooms do, but just every time I see a mushroom, I think of Alice. Oh, wait. Another one popped out. There's that one. That's another paint sample. That one isn't really Halloween, so I could probably use that rather soon. Smart. Why I really, really like you. Right now, most of the time, all the time. And then it's got like a bunch of list of reasons why you would like a person. And it says more than most, hella, a lot, the best. Signature month, date year. And I'm not just saying that. It's cute. There's like three of those. This is like a little car. Oh, this is her letter. She used a ladder, like a note card, and then she also has another sheet. That's fun. And then, I am a hot mess today. Then I got a postcard. This is fun. I need to send more postcards. Was this in here? 
as I said, I kind of looked at everything beforehand a little bit. Um, because I'm impatient. This is a mammoth. I think this is a red letter was just written. Yeah. I got a mammoth. And another mammoth. I feel like the one mammoth is giving the other mammoth a flower. So that's really cute. Dang, it's cute. Oh, here it is. Okay, so this is like... I knew it had something. So this is a note card. That's cute. It's a fairy. I love fairies. I got a new ring light that I keep forgetting to turn on in like every video I film. So hopefully you like it. I actually remembered it today and it's like blinding. It's up there. It's like slightly above me. So hopefully you'll only get like little bits of it. I'm trying to figure out a way to film and it not be in my eyes the whole time. But we'll see. Still bright. Dear Farrier, thanks. That's cute. That's the right little letters to your postman. And then we got some of a fish dog. Well, we got quite a few of these little. She's sending so much stationery. That's wonderful. Okay, so how many of these are there? Oh, there's quite a few. Okay. So on this side, there's like a fashion girl that you can design your own outfit on. And on this side, there's a girl. Or just some blue paper. Inclined. That's cute. These are just some really nice flowers. Onion some yellow. Oh. These are some letters and numbers. And just only the top and bottom are like dark. The rest I can totally write over, which is nice. My wish list. My wish list. And that's connected to notes. No other my wish list. Oh, I'm just so cute. This is Winter Schminter. And there's this little tiny kid. He's so cute. Magical note. Every note I write is magical. Look at that. That's so pretty. Then it's got slimes. It's got some flowers. I got a couple of those. Unfortunately, I opened this all up upside down, so I'm really... Oh, they're all different. Out of sorts. So this one, this is more like a kawaii symbol, but every one of them is different. Oh, that one is so cute. They're just like spilling out of the package. fun. Life is what you make it. That is so cute. There's just such a fun variety. Notes. Some flowers. And another one. It's like got some pretty birds. And a butterfly and some more. And then this one. That's really cute. Oh, that's fun. So I think she probably tore these out of a notebook. Because that's the Louvre, I think. I'm pretty sure. I have to say, but it's got that on the back of the postcard the same. On this side, it's got a stamp with the Eiffel Tower. But then on this page has like monument that it refers to. And on this page it's got some really pretty greenery 
and it just says Paris in the bottom corner. It's got more greenery on the top, and on the side it's got the same symbol that the first page had. Some greenery. Those are so pretty. I have so much fun in others. So a quick note while filming this, I actually received a small little envelope, just a little bit of washi tape on it, from Visual Sound, I think it is. And she's a YouTuber that is also an ASMR artist, but she designs from the stickers. And it came with think. Thank you for your order sticker. And this little green envelope. Table shut, and I was trying to save the sticker, but it totally failed. Um, but I ordered her like creepy Christmas sticker set, and there's an eyeball ornament. This is definitely my favorite. It's a candy cane that's turned into a snake. It's covered in one of the Christmas crackers. This is more of a, like a European tradition, but what they do is they will take turns. Yeah, I was in the middle of it, so my hands are still covered in tacky glue. They each take an end of it, and I think they either make a wish, or it's whoever gets the bigger half gets the present inside. But normally there's like a paper crown, and a joke, and some little sort of trinket. But in this one, there's just slime, which I think would be gross. Then there's also a gingerbread man, and a little box. And then there's a couple bonuses. There's a VHS or cassette tape that says Jen Sticker Shack. Well, it says it. You don't have to read that. And then my like freaky little Pokemon was a Mewtwo, and I didn't get to choose it, it was just a random one. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I'm trying to do a lot of like smaller sticker shops this year, but I thought that while I'm already filming the Pentel one, I might as well share that. I'm going to change up my setup a little bit, and I will see you in a minute. Hey everyone, voiceover Mon here. The first thing I did was as I went through and filled out the this or that, which I had already said in this video what I would choose, then I wrote the letter, added some extra sheets of paper, and added the stencils. I also created some stickers, some napkin, a napkin to go to it that I had left over, and the little sticks of the string is what's called a God's Eye. It's a Native American symbol for good luck, which I made up to give to her. Then what I'm doing here is I am making seven little positive affirmations for her. That way she has one for every day of the week. So it's, you are awesome, you are kind, you are creative. I love getting letters from you and things like that. After that, I went ahead and found a couple pages out of this book that I bought that was already pretty torn up. And I chose one that I thought she would like. She had mentioned how she was missing Christmas and was decorating early, so I found one that was of a reindeer. Then I added this don't give up little um, paper. I get these at the Dollar Tree. The thick ones are 10 for a buck, and then there's another pack that's 25 for a buck. Even though they're in the teacher section, I think they make really good for collages or to decorate envelopes, or you can use the back to put your questions or even a small portion of your letter on. Next, I'm just trying so hard to tie it up. This string is kind of like, I don't know if it's wax covered. It feels kind of like straw to me, twine. And it just is not easy to tie. But I was absolutely determined. I really wanted to use the stuff. So I made it work. Here I'm deciding that I didn't like how free everything was. So I took the packaging from the paper the letter came in. And I just stuffed everything in there to make it fit a little bit nicer. Then what I do from here is I just look for a little extra to add on and I find an envelope that'll fit and I put it on in. And that is it for the first letter. For the second letter, I go ahead and grab the same stationery and I write my letter on that and grab her an extra few sheets of that for her. Then the book I use is called Button Girl. I found it at a thrift shop and because she loves doing crafts like fabric and yarn, I thought that maybe she could get some inspiration from it. Next, I take this reused envelope and I collage over it with other scraps and things that I have. This will be the envelope that I put the goodies and the letter in. Then I added some stickers from a Sea Life sticker book just to add a little bit extra to the collage. This is actually the back of the letter, which I did a very similar looking collage, and that is what I will use for my questions. 
then I pull out some of those stickers to give her as extra little goodies and then I grab some stickers from Lisa Frank because she had said last time that she really enjoyed getting Lisa Frank stickers so I thought I would add a little bit more of those so that she could use them in her own personal things then I'm just stuffing everything into the envelope and I do a very quick collage on the back of the envelope and put one of the god size in. I keep the letter out for now because it was wet and then grab a prime envelope. The prime envelope was about the correct size and they're very sturdy. Um, the book has a spiral in it so I was a little worried about stability. When I collage I don't try to focus on one part too much like I don't just sit there like should I use this or this especially when I'm doing an envelope or something I find that if I just pick a few things and if I stare at it for more than about five seconds then I have to put it somewhere I can't just sit here and keep thinking and thinking and thinking I love collaging envelopes and making happy mail I think that when people open up their mailbox and they see a piece of artwork that it really does brighten their day and I know it always brightens mine when I see a very pretty envelope so if you ever do have to mail something out to a friend or a family member, I encourage you to decorate the envelopes. I just think it is a wonderful thing to add to any letter or um, package. After this, I just tie up the book in the same string I used in the last letter, put it in, and tape everything up. Thank you so much for being here today. I hope that you enjoyed these two letters, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!